What's up, homies? Today we're gonna do an analysis of Rocky versus SRJ from Clean FFS. Uh, this will be the penultimate video from these locals, locals that I've been doing an analysis of. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do SRJ versus Sunse, but since we did SRJ versus Bobby Big Balls yesterday, uh, I think it'd be fun to watch Johnny versus another Falco, see one, what Rocky brings to the table that Bobby didn't, and see two, how Johnny deals with their pretty different play styles. You know, I'm not one to say that Bobby is like totally balls out, dumb, aggressive, and I'm not one to say that Rocky is uh, just like campy, but Rocky's style, if he has to like fall back in something, it ends up being on a defensive style. And a lot of times, uh, Bobby ends up putting himself in scrappy situations quite often. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Johnny is forced to play differently against Rocky. We can also see this is a best of five and it's not particularly long, so I don't imagine it will go to game five. Uh, they start on Battlefield. A little bit surprised by that. Mm. I guess Rocky doesn't want a big stage against Johnny specifically for some reason. I'm not sure why. I know that Rocky likes smaller stages against Johnny specifically. I'm not totally sure why. In fact, I don't even know if he knows why. But uh, he says his track record on like Yoshi Story, for example, is very good against Johnny, which actually I find surprising because like when I play against Rocky, sometimes I like to go to Yoshi's because it takes away uh, some of Falcon's laser game. You know, easier to approach from the platform. It's easier to encroach. Whereas on a larger stage like Dreamland or FD or Stadium, it can be hard to approach uh, Falco. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so right away we see Johnny actually retreating a little bit. Hmm. Okay, get spot that shine. Okay, so let's let's again uh, watch from the beginning. Okay, so Johnny interestingly opts to shield drop all the way into the corner. Um, I will say. Sometimes when you like run toward center against Falco, it actually puts you both in kind of a, a spot you don't want to be. If you think about Falco being right here and Falco being here, uh, a lot of times you're not close enough to get the threat out that you want. To, and uh, if you do try to approach, they can just lap tilt you. And you're not far enough to really space yourself. So I think he wants to start from a further back spacing. Hops to double jump, go above the platform, and then manages to uh, turn around the situation on Rocky altogether. Rocky in a bad spot, comes into a nair, or not combos, just gets a nair, which cannot combo. You'll notice that Rocky did uh, some good DI right there to not get nair grabbed, but he just immediately goes for a buffer roll. So a lot of times after uh, Falcon lands a nair like that, he'll either read a spot dodge or a roll. Definitely a... Uh, yeah, situation there for Johnny where he could capitalize and he does manage to grab the roll, uh, presumably on reaction. So good stuff. Okay, nice wave dash to position himself perfectly, but uh, he opts to dash. Dash is a little bit too far right there uh, to cover the spot dodge. However, Falco's roll on the ground, like not just his tech roll, but his roll after no tech is super long. So Johnny may have been thinking that Rocky is going to roll to the left. Just trying to cover that. But swat that shine doesn't tech on the platform. Oh, I'm surprised Rocky one went down here and two. Johnny didn't tech. I guess Johnny was thinking what I was thinking right that Rocky was gonna keep on moving somehow. How he rolled towards center of the platform. That Rocky's just too slow getting up there. But you know that's like a very slow option. And usually, if you're at the edge of the platform, it'll just do stand up. It's basically a faster version of the same option, right? You still end up in the same position. So Johnny might have been able to do an up air right here after uh, falling off the platform and his shield getting hit. Ooh, that's interesting. So Rocky is right was right here at the top platform, right? And Johnny was where Rocky is now. Uh, instead of running towards center, or maybe in the corner if you don't really want to do with buttons you have to, he actually goes to the platform, which if Rocky is on the top platform still, uh, you know, Rocky could start some pressure, but you know, Johnny really fast gets to this position, which isn't necessarily good for Falcon. I have to imagine this sports a the club. Let's, let's see in real time. Like, even if Johnny were down there, I don't see why he'd want to forward tilt. Eh, eh, I don't know, okay. Maybe he wanted to do an up tilt. Well, no, he wouldn't do a down angle for Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happens here. Johnny stomps right here. Um, don't really want to shield here as Falco. 
Uh, you can get stomped. In fact, you could have had this stomped. Uh, if anything, you probably want to crouch so you have more options afterwards. And then even if they do another aerial after the stomp going through, you'll probably be able to CC it. Rocky tries to shield up the shine, doesn't quite get it. Trying to use the backward facing shield drop up air. High laser from Rocky, I like that. There's T shoots laser high to potentially stuff a jump from Johnny and uh, someone's just lasering over the Falcon that can actually mess up his timing. Alright, Rocky looking a little bit sluggish right here. It just gets caught right there by that up air. Like kind of slow rope ledge has been a roll. Johnny tries to approach from the top platform with the up air through the platform. Pretty good option right there, but uh, Rocky is running a bit closer to center. Uh, these guys are really uh, moving around each other a lot, but not making contact. Okay, so Rocky not looking not looking too sharp right now. That's it. Okay, downers were fine. Hard to contest the downer on the top platform. Uh, up here, he might trade with it, but that's the best show yet. And Johnny Land ends up getting a stomp. Goes for a first hit and error reset right there. Uh, has very little lag when he misses, and then Rocky spot dodges. Free kill. So yeah, Rocky not looking super sharp at first stock. Definitely. Uh, Making a lot of errors. Okay, nice right there. Uh, so shield's this gets a nice shot out of shield. Wait, dash it down. This is a top platform, but Johnny managed to slide off. Counterattack with an up air. You know, if I uh, here really fast and didn't forward smash to the right, yeah, could punish that. If I get a really fast, fast full down air. Uh, you know, that said, that you'd have to read the third and miss the text. Still, it's a reasonable read to go for. Ooh, very interesting uh, wave dash out of shield here. Okay, so yeah, Rocky gets the laser in a good position. Johnny doesn't opt to try to move after it, or try to move. So Rocky, nice little cross up on the shield with the neutral air, gets a shine. But then Johnny uh, wave dashes through him. So I've tried that a lot in my life, doesn't work for me very often. Uh, and Rocky won't, doesn't like double shine too often or anything. He goes for a more like a passive style of pressure, right? Positional thing. Kind of like PP. -pee. So Johnny manages to wave dash through him in there. Nice uh, dash out of that. Didn't like buffer roll right away that time. Already learned from that situation in the first talk, the first interaction of the game. It just landed in a hit. Prop up jump back here. Don't really like that personally, but uh, you know. If you're not confident in your ledge tech skill, or you don't want to be on the ledge, then I guess you could do that. But generally, if somebody's in the corner, you'd rather see them like run off and then uh, grab the ledge, you know, shine turn up here or whatever. Or, you know, <laughs> let's be real, a scrubby net play side B isn't the worst thing in the world either. Uh, Falcon especially has a harder time punishing it than say like Farth gets his wave dash out of shield field is much less far, and his grab range is much less far. And it's not like Fox, right? Fox, you just CC his side B, and then you get an easy punish, you get a dashing stomp. For Valky, you do kind of have to wave that shadow shield really quickly, really far, and I get the grab. Oh, fighting is rolling again. Johnny not fighting, uh, not pulling the trigger on uh, this situation. Could go for an all in here. Like, I could definitely see Weedlord doing a double jump into the uh, wave land fastball aerial. From right here, try to uh, catch him right here. Which, uh, looks like it would have worked, but I again, you know, it's obviously carries a large amount of risk. With it. And Johnny, you know, as much as we say he's a crazy player, which he is, uh, he's, he's quite safe overall. It's not, not as much of a risk taker as as you might think. Okay, so Rahi uh, side beads onto the platform, opts to short, and so he doesn't go. Uh, didn't let you cancel. It's a pretty easy way to get on stage, you know? It's okay. Rocky's uh, ledge dash should tend to be a, a weakness in this play for sure, even though he practices them. Seems like he uh, misses them quite a lot. Okay, Johnny going for the tech away read. I like this against other Falcons more than against Rocky. But yeah, doesn't opt to come down with the opera there, which he could have. Right here. Well, okay. <laughs> See, the thing is. Usually high-level spaces will prefer tech away because it take, brings them closer to the ledge and then getting to the ledge gets them out of the tech chase. But because of what we just said about Rocky not being the best off the ledge, 
uh, it's less likely for him. Still, Rocky uh, doesn't really capitalize on the position as well as he could because he spot dodges right here. So buffer spot dodges, I suppose, and then ends up shielding. Johnny with a run-up shield. You know, this is okay. It's interesting because if we go back just a sec and we see Johnny has Rocky and shield in a spacing where, like, if, you know, he were right here, Rocky wouldn't be able to do anything out of shield. So you'd think that gives a positional advantage to Falcon at them, even though he's in the corner. But it's so hard to deal with uh, Falco's drift on his like auto castle back air that you don't really want to fuck with that. Uh, and also, if you kind of dash in here, they might just wave that shadow shield and shine you. Like we've seen Bobby Big Wells go for the kind of stuff a lot, and it, it can be it can be strong. Uh, if you go to the platform, they might like just back air you. So Johnny has to run up shield, which he has significant space here, right? Behind him, he can retreat. He can still try to go to the platform. He can try to roll past Rocky. Uh, if Rocky does something bad on shield, maybe he's going to punish. But Rocky's pretty unlikely to do anything bad on shield here, right? Um, I guess Johnny can still maybe grab him. Yeah, that looks, that looks grabbable to me, especially because Rocky is actually angling his shield towards Johnny which leans his character's hurt box slightly. If he's leaning his hurt box away, I think actually maybe he wouldn't be able to get grabbed. But um, anyway, yeah, see so just jumps and back airs. So not the most interesting uh, way for that to play out, but a sensible one. So Johnny, you know, by running up and shielding, he put himself in a position where he's not totally in the corner and he has some space afterwards. Uh, probably an accidental spot dodge right there. I'm not really sure what he could have meant to do. Sometimes that comes out when you try to stop out of shield. Uh, I doubt he wanted to stop that shield, though, so I'm not really sure. Mm. Oh, he's getting caught with Tom and Hawk right there. Uh, or rather, he just, he like, kind of Tom Hawk himself, right? He just empty hops, land, and then just, just gets the back air running in. So I'm not quite sure what he's going for either. Maybe he could have done a wave land in and a shine. So that would be... Uh, and right here we see Johnny positioning again to cover the jump, which, again, he could have done. Right, if he had fastball on the back here, right there, it would have hit. But he doesn't. And Rocky ends up taking to the ledge. Straight up is totally fine there. Falcon is uh, not going to punch that with the exact spacing that they were in. Okay, good lasers from Rocky. Oh, he could have uh, punched that back air. Okay, let's. Hmm. Would have liked to see Rocky try to combo him off the right side of the stage. Oh, that looks like that could have connected. Oh no. Okay, so let's, let's rewind and watch them. So right there is what I mean, where uh, if he had dashed slightly further, maybe he could have gone for a weak reverse back air. I mean, Johnny probably knows how to DI that. He could also like do a stronger move and try to hit him off stage. Or you could even down air if you're positioning for a weak reverse back air, because then if they're trying to DI away on a weak reverse back air, then they'll hold away. Don't see uh, Falcons do that much. Um, see, you can see PPU do that sometimes though, like, uh, PPU versus Shroomed, uh, from, uh, what's that term called, BAM or Norcal Monthly or something, they had a really good grand finals where he, uh, DI makes up a chic over the Dreamland platform, or maybe Battlefield, like, right here at, like, 60 and got the kill, 70. Okay, nice laser grab. This is, a uh, this wave land, or wave dash off, fastball double jump. Uh, is very good at covering the jump to the ledge. Johnny does not opt to do that, but Rocky repositions in time. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe he went to Nair there, and then he uh, it's a Falcon Gate and dies, so that's unfortunate. But Rocky, you know, definitely having opportunities right here. Rocky is very strong at uh, when his opponent's in the corner. That's like. See, right here, like, he doesn't usually contest people on the ledge, he usually gives up stage but then feels really really comfortable trying to keep pulling the corner but then Johnny actually runs through. Um, Rocky still manages to land the back air. Right here though like he just fouls the balls of the ledge. Just fouls the ledge. He'll get the ledge before Falcon so that was a very bad ledge shard. Ooh, uh oh uh oh. Looking very sluggish there too. Get Tell cancel right. Takes 13. Not the worst in the world. If he gets the socket right now he's still okay. Okay, so he's got a... Ooh, okay, okay. I'm trying to for that. Again, I should just... Um, grab the ledge right there. Right there, just fall to the ledge. 
death trip towards the center stage. So he's at, he eats, you know, the attacks, the up attacks, but then Johnny uh, drops low and uh, Falcon can't sweet spot. So yeah, we can, we can be poor Falcon right here. Up B, eating the end of Falcon's forward smash. <laughs> Shit sucks. Uh, anyway, but Johnny got Johnny got the percent. You're you're kind of happy just getting that thirteen percent or whatever from Up B, right? That that feels good. It's a 15. 15, right? Can I shine from from uh, Rocky? But uh, Johnny manages to di off the platform. Okay, so he gets behind the neutral layer. Johnny manages to fly off the eye, goes for a double jump stomp. Doesn't ledge cap level, but it's really that really fast. Okay, nice. Okay, good double jump after tanking that laser. Rocky uh, spot dodges. Rocky will often spot dodge instead of shielding. And I think it's intentional of trying to avoid being in shield sun altogether. Aw, oh, that's... Yeah, Ro Rocky again, looking a little bit slight. It's right here. This, this is what Rocky likes. Rocky loves when somebody nares and he gets a laser and then he shields again and then he lasers again uh, and then he tries to go in with a shine but it looks, looks to me like he was a little bit slow. It's a classic rock situation. Nice by Johnny there stuffing the laser from the top platform. If you can, uh, I think Falcon scared you that that makes a big difference. Oh, no knee right there? You should just see knee right there like uh, as a read because like he was approaching the down air. Not much to lose, right? If you go for a knee. Um, I think he could have run off back air or up air right there and comboed. I don't think run off me would have comboed that time. So yeah, like right, right there, before he's too far away. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, can't, I think I, you should you should build it up there before he flies too far away. Like up air there, maybe. I mean, it, it's risky because it's so close. Ooh, nice smash down the laser, eh? Don't see that too much from Donnie. See right there? He smashed out the laser away, dodged the grab. If he hadn't shielded, gets an easy punish on that. You can even, like, uh, Raptor boost or forward smash and just probably get a kill out, right? So, yeah, Johnny, uh, like I said, I don't see him smash out lasers very much. So, maybe he wasn't quite ready for that. Johnny smashed out pretty good overall, though. So, I could definitely see him starting to do that more. I think that'd be really good. Oh, right there. I Felt like he was a little bit slow too. Okay, kneeing right here, you know, Rocky could jump up and shine him on that on a whiff punish. If uh, he sees the knee coming from far away before Lever comes out. But then, uh, he shield poked. Why that up air hit him? Okay, no, so he tries to jump out of shield, eh? He tries to jump out of shield. You can see the, the jump squat right here. Yeah, it gets, it gets hit. If you do like a really fast, uh, like back air right here with the claw, look like that hits, like not on stage. Oh, Rocky with these rolls. Yeah, Rocky's uh, defensive options have been very uh, I don't know, wishful this game. Definitely uh, something that he sometimes struggles with, but not always. Uh, I guess we'll ledge cancel back here. That doesn't actually usually work, even though it always feels like a good idea. And boom, I still go for it too. So, ooh, that back air hitting. Double jump back air right here. Okay, so Johnny doing his usual, you know, his usual neutral against Alka that we talked about so many times at this point on this channel. Okay, Rocky catching him there. I'm not sure about the neutral air choice right there from Johnny. Oh, Ashton's into a Nair. I tend to prefer going for like a, a grab or something. Okay, finally catches him right there. I feel like Rocky's like recoveries have been pretty uh, predictable too, and like his jumps haven't been that well spade. At least he just shines all that time though, which we have too as much. So honestly, Rocky got spanked that game. Let's see if he can do anything better on the next game. Uh, I have heard him, yeah, say specifically against Johnny that he likes Yoshi's. Uh, he obviously liked FD a lot. He's a laser heavy Falco. Well, to see Fountain. Even sometimes it gets me Rocky picks and just plays pretty defensive, but I don't think we'll see that against Johnny. I think that's more uh, against me thing because I'm a pretty grounded player. So, 
Yeah, I think if we just see Rocky clean up his defensive game a lot and his punish game a little, we could see some good games. But you really need to uh, play better on the defense because Johnny put him in these situations like quite often, and then he would just kind of flounder and uh, often get killed off. It. Okay, so empty, standard choice. Johnny just running across the stage at the beginning. I, I think that's okay. I don't like shielding there though. I, I guess actually you tried to power shield, right? Um, let's check. Let's check the laser heights from Rocky. Let's check the laser height. Okay. Uh, okay. So full off. Okay. So that one. Yeah, that one hits pretty high, right? So that's really hard to power shield at the very head. I feel like it like never worked, but I think it's fine with me. So not not too high on those lasers right there. Rocky doesn't habitually shoot high lasers, but you do see him mix them in sometimes. He definitely prefers lower lasers, which is a little bit surprising to me for his play style. I think high lasers would be very good for his play style. Okay, so nice standard combo from uh, Rocky, or well, not maybe not that standard in the end. Okay, yeah, I like that too. He like goes through his shield and then uh, shines from behind. Going through the shield can actually can bait Falcon to try to move out and also reduces his uh, out of shield option as well. So it's a little bit of smash air right there. Up air, Rocky loves uh, using that up air. It's, you know, up air combo extender, uh, sometimes the DI trap at higher percents. Goes for reverse back air. Uh, not get much yard though. Okay, how could, what should he have done to let you here? Um, I mean, did Johnny lose his jump, or is he just off the up B? I don't see Johnny. I didn't see him lose his jump. Yeah, I felt like he should solve his jump, but uh, he. It's like a really nice copy. Honestly, right here, you could. You should, if, if you've committed to the fourth match, you should jab. Jab twice, even. Keep, keep fucking jabbing or something. See what they do. Jab, jab and jab a couple of times. Jab once, twice. React, shine them, down smash, depending on how they DI. I'll roll up to classic. Ooh, where that shadow shield, gentlemen? Uh, you know, Falco can definitely CC and shine that. Oh, that should be a kill. Yeah, no chance there. All right, all right. So let's uh, let's go back to the end. So right here, I mean, run off, double jump down air. Tends to be very good if they drop low like this, or you can double jump there. Uh, but I think he wasn't expecting. I don't know. He could also he could also charge the forward smash. Honestly, charging the forward smash and letting a rip later that that would have been better too. But like I said I I'm surprised that Johnny just upbeat right there. You know, he feels usually too when they have a jump. But. So is that Naren to grab that actually combo? It looks like it did. Looks like a good combo. Right there, not the best tech chase from Johnny. Usually, if they roll behind you, you know, we're going for a stomp anyway. Uh, but he's even too slow with the back air. Thought we'd see a shine up shield right there, but we don't. Uh, just ended up rolling and up building him. The up air doesn't connect. Ooh, Johnny wave land out of it. Okay. Uh, trade, good for Falco. Puts Falcon in the knockdown. He misses the tech too. We're on a crouch. You know, probably. Uh, Positioning for get up attack. Doesn't manage to uh, get it. Wave dash four, gentleman out of shield. Pretty crazy from Johnny. Very risky. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, he can hold down and shine pretty easily right there. Uh, I don't really like that nair from Johnny. Up throw, eh. I'd also just prefer just like forward throwing and then trying to like tech chase and react. Get, take away more Falcon stage if you get another forward throw. Then you're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, again, uh, right there. Not the best pleasure from Rocky. Uh, I think you should be able to wave dash and bass while in the time, shouldn't you, to get the ledge? Okay, there we go. That one's good. So yeah, this is kind of Rocky in a nutshell, right? He he likes to uh, he likes to just like get you in shield, throw you off stage, let you guard you. Very good way of playing uh, the match band, the chic matchup, which are two of his uh. Better matchups for sure. Ooh. Wow, that, that call out right there. So, yeah, trying representing his double jumps uh, and like his, you know, 
more aerial based neutral across the matchup. And then he double jumps after attacking a laser right there and just knees it there and calls out Rocky jumping into him. Okay, I'll, this is this is good by Johnny, by the way. Uh, a lot of times when you're in the corner. Okay, uh, that that's very standard Rocky rush too, by the way. Like shining, then way back to back, and like waiting for a roll, seeing a song will roll. I think if they had played left, actually Johnny probably would have rolled because we've seen Johnny. You've seen how much Johnny rolls in this matchup a lot of the time. But just yes, yeah, so just full hopping straight up is good. Don't move forward. Don't really try to gauge it. Just like see after full hopping what happens. Because it's, it's a lot easier to punish a full hop if you commit to, like, something like, you know, trying to move forward and get, like, a knee or something. If you just jump straight up and then down, a lot of times it'll uh, make the neutral game change a little bit. So tanks the laser again and double jumps in the air. Uh, Rocky not able to get a punish there. You know, maybe if he had positioned really quickly, he could have gotten up kill. Which could have been pretty nice. So Rocky not able to cover that roll. I'm not sure about that back air. Might have tried to short hop. Not not punching that back air. Not uh, CC that dash attack. So Rocky having a little bit of trouble figuring out where to position himself and like where where to approach when, like where to find his uh, you know where to find his moment right. But uh, in definitely getting mileage off just grabbing Johnny a lot. This has pretty much been like most of its neutral victories have been just like lasers and then abs. Oh, right there. Okay, okay. There we see a little bit of an adaptation with that downer. Oh, no. Very uh, poor jump. So just gets hit by a neutral there. Um, at least he DIs away so he doesn't get combo in the air. And then he takes away the fourth throw from Johnny and then Kind of scrubby, like infant jump right there. Like you'd like to see, like a shinefall or like a jump back, shinefall jump back side B. Rocky tends to prefer up being too, so I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, Rocky really likes to up B to recover. Oh, uh, okay. Tries to re uh, read Johnny's jump there, right? So okay, good, good try there from Rocky. I'd say that's not a bad idea. <laughs> The hair dodges through the upper. Honestly, that percent you should, you should accomplish the upper if you DI properly, so just tank it should be fine. Okay, nice laser. Oh, but he just rolled after, I think, like a turn on up tilt could have been pretty nice there. Uh oh. Okay. Right there, it looked like Jockey, um, Rocky lost his jump too. See? You see the double jump ring right there? So he did an instant double jump right here. Johnny misses the uh, dash in that grab, I think. Maybe he thought Danny grab would work, but... Yeah, not sure about that four, so it might have been a roll. Either way, I feel like it's a bad idea. Um, if he had jumped off with the, with the knee again, it would have hit that diamond. He almost hits right there, but unfortunately, like, being right here actually a lot of times will get beaten beside me. Weird as that sounds. But it does play out that way uh, quite often. Like, like what just happened there. Uh, that rolled to the left from Johnny seemed really bad right there. Okay. See, he rolls to the left, just gets hit. Also, it's gotta be said, uh, not sure about, like, not throwing out a move there. I felt like he could, like, wave dash in with a move, like a down smash. I think that would have been pretty fucking good. But I guess he's just, like, reacting, which is also, like, fundamentally good, right? Reacting, punish is good, generally. Doesn't manage to hit any of the lasers right there. Uh, misses the fastball to the ledge. Okay, ooh. So yeah, let's let's rewatch. Right here, Rocky misses all three of his lasers. Right? That second one hits, that's really good. That third one hits, eh, that's not as good, but it's still good. It's definitely still good. Actually, yeah, it's just good. It's a free kill then with a charge forward smash or maybe even ledge lock. So good ops tech. Johnny doesn't uh, fastball to the ledge quite a time. Also, if you input a taunt or a smash tech or a tilt, uh, it, uh, there's a one frame input where you can cancel your end lag or your uh, momentum rather right away. Uh, he actually wasn't gonna get the ledge there either from that up B. He was too low. So uh, Rocky actually saves him, but it doesn't end up mattering. Yeah, that's too low. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Oof. 
Yeah, Rocky, see again, some defensive. Uh, oh, wow, Rocky really likes to go high, so that's a crazy read from Johnny. Rocky definitely uh, recovers high almost some time. Kind of cool pivot right there, right there. Uh, Johnny, I guess, shielding in case there was like a shine on shield. So, bear on bear action, trade in the air. That's why I went, ooh, and I thought Rocky might miss his tech, but I was hoping he wouldn't. <laughs> uh, then Johnny wave dash forwards and down smash covering both uh, roll and spot dodge. Though the roll would be covered by the back hit, right? Which uh, wouldn't kill outright. But yeah, down smash, very nice. Uh, so it's still, this isn't the free ledger for Falcon. Um, right, he ends up going for a hard read right there. Uh, okay, pretty good neutral from Rocky right here. I like, I like this. Right, he's, he's using his lasers. He's spacing himself well, dashing away here. Johnny's just been really good about not, um, not like rolling in and like picking his out of shield again really well, which is something he is known for. But I'd say in the path of seen Rocky beat him, and that's been one of the reasons. Rocky, I feel like after that laser, he could have pushed pushed an advantage. Okay. Wow, that was that was really interesting. Oh no. Yeah, right there, I thought Rocky, again, could have pushed an advantage, like, gone for a shine grab. I think that would have been pretty nice. Uh, but he jumps over him and then comes out of the back air on the backside. I, I don't know about that. It kind of works out. And here he just misses the next hit on that miss attack, and then he gets a uh, get attack. Might have been able to crash that. Oh, a double lasers. Uh oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's just, this is just this is just playing against Rocky right here, okay? Double lasers doesn't get covered by that back air. Back air generally will cover that. You can sometimes come down on top of them with Stomp. Unless you run past Rafter Boost or run past Double Jump back air or even run past Forward Smash. Those can all work. You can CC. And uh, gentlemen, you can try to grab between the lasers. Those are all uh, anti double laser options. So he DIs in on the lasers, then just cuts combo <laughs> off of a back throw into a forward tilt outright. Johnny goes for the high jump and then drift to ledge. We Johnny tends to prefer that over dropping low and double jumping to the ledge. And it tends to work pretty well for him. But uh, Rocky just picks him out with forward smash. Maybe maybe air dodging could have been uh, good there by Johnny. Ooh, ooh. Okay, wait. wait, wait. Let's, let's check out the neutral right here. So Johnny comes in a little. Rocky is well positioned. Goes for a shine, laser. Laser the roll. Good dash out of the laser from Johnny. Spot dodges right there, huh? Let's uh, let's let's uh, frame advance right here. See exactly where this laser puts him. This laser is a tricky one. You have to know exactly when you're gonna get hit, and how what to do after. Yeah, so right here, this is uh, this is decent for Falco with him already moving forward. So yeah, I, I think um, I would have tried to dash more. <laughs> And uh, I would expect, honestly, the Falco to do a aerial right here. And then I would probably try to either stomp or pivot grab it. Uh, Rocky instead just goes for a grab. And Johnny spot dodges it. So, but then Falcon spot dodge sucks ass. So he just gets grabbed again. Ooh. Johnny finally uh, getting an easy roll out right here. So he double jumps after getting uh, laser in the air again. Like, Johnny likes to do that a lot. Mm. I felt like this this pressure was a little bit obvious from Rocky. Like it probably wasn't gonna work out. And then he misses the wave dash, but it sounds like being fine. Runs away a little, shoots some lasers, gets another grab. Yeah, I, I like I like how Rocky's playing the neutral. I think it's uh, I think his neutral is looking pretty good. Oh, he opened up by that stomp. That's uh. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, so Johnny just runs through him. Gets behind him and then stops from the other side. Very good. Right here, I would probably go for a Raptor boost this direction. Uh, that can be a really juicy opening. And uh, he actually needs right there. So he was thinking the same tech options that I was, but cover the tech in place as well. Ooh, nice, nice drift right here from Johnny. And no fastball is going to get an up air on that up tilt. Very nice. Okay, but then Falcon's back here tends to beat Falcon from there. Oh, that was good. That was good. That's a kill. So right there, I thought he'd combo to grab. Instead, he actually just positions right here, and Rocky takes away. And uh, you know, 
That's 100% where if you DI in enough or smash in, you might get double need. So I feel kind of bad for Rocky right there. This is a difficult situation. Right? His DI is like bad, but like I feel like you can still get comboed pretty easily at that percent if you DI full in on that. So rough times. I'm sure there was a perfect DI right there. He would not get comboed. And so I'll have a chance to recover, but he doesn't get it. All right, so I don't think we're gonna, uh, I think we should see FD again, but I feel like Rocky's probably enough bot process, which leads him to pick a different stage. I do think FD was good for him though, so I'd like to see him try it again. Okay. Uh, TMC agreed with me. Okay, Johnny, uh, we didn't quite get, but that time he does successfully approach with the power shield at the very beginning. Let's see if he could have converted more out of his power shield. It doesn't look like it. No, no, definitely not. Actually, he's, he's just really slow. Anyway. Okay, I guess we didn't get to see it. Whatever. Uh, ooh, that Rapture was going unpunished. Easy CC right there. Ooh, and then he gets him out of the air for a second there. Tries to approaching power shield. Doesn't get it, but still wins with an air. Nice. Uh... Oh, that's kind of sure that scares me for Rocky. So, uh, not a good left guard for Johnny there either. So let's let's rewind quite a bit. Let's rewatch all of that. Okay, so good tech chase opportunity. Johnny opts instead of reacting to blades to dash dance. Doesn't try to grab the shine either. Actually reads the jump with an air, so I think that's pretty crazy. Uh, goes up with an up air. Second up air, uh, pretty standard. I think I'd like to see a CT there from Rocky. See what you can get off it, which probably would have been nothing actually. He saves the percent, but I still think it's worth uh, representing the CC. Okay, so Johnny, uh, again, there we see that really high laser height, which is hard to power shield. Not the higher one that goes over his head. Definitely you can laser over the Falcon's head to trick him into shielding too. But, uh, so you see how that hits the top of his shield? That's like, you pretty much never see that get power shielded. And even if it does get power shielded, actually the Falcon's dash will just go under it. So, uh, it doesn't really help Falcon either. Okay, so, Rocky, good roll towards the ledge. Uh, a lot of times people won't cover that one. Johnny just gets his air beaten by back here. Like I said, that'll happen a lot in this matchup. I don't like Johnny uh, running to that second back here, though. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to cover. It. Easy up air. Right here, you just do a run off knee. Don't even think twice. After, after you know they're going to be below the stage, you can also... Um, turn around and then jump and uh, react with either fast falling and back airing or fast falling to the ledge depending on how uh, low they are. You could have done a way dash uh, off back air with the fast fall. Uh, but instead uh, does a scout attack which is not the play but oh god he misses Don the hill and he misses the spot of Johnny. It's okay he's in he's probably like so comfortable because uh, he's up 2-0. Nice. Oh god, this is this is all messy. Well we'll we watch it for good measure one time. Let's but let's just let's watch the rest of this box, see what happens. Oh okay, okay. Rocky looks like he's trying to bait a roll right there. Jesus, the dog won't end. <laughs> oh walk up Falcon okay, God is degenerated. Okay, look. Let's go way back. Okay, yeah. So there's the shitty ledge guard. Doesn't uh, opt to cover the miss tech. Goes to the next option. Doesn't cover the roll. Goes to the next option. Another roll. So you could jump and then drift to the left and do a short hop knee here. Or you could do the whizzy turnaround and knee. So he tries to full hop knee very, very slowly. Reads the spot dodge. He's wrong. Okay, right there, honestly. If I'm Johnny, I'd actually just read another roll. It looks like. Rocky's really floundering. Rocky just lets go of his shield, turns, <laughs> lets go of his shield, walks to the right, shields again. Okay, full off out of shield, Johnny almost covering that, but uh, you know, do doesn't manage to get the placement quite right. It's, it's very hard to tell when both people are double jumping and like, you, you know, another fastball's gonna drift that they're gonna choose. It's like Rocky reads the jump right there. Uh, Johnny with a, Interesting full hop in there. Might have been thinking air to air right there. Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't play out that way. Uh, yeah, good. Good fastball timing right there. 
It's gonna double laser now. Okay. Okay. So double laser after one refresh. You gotta mix up your double laser timings for sure, or else you can Falcon easily go for one of those hard reads I was mentioning earlier. Haven't seen Johnny do a great job of punishing Rocky's uh Rocky's uh, jumps the ledge. So right there, uh, pretty bad way to get opened up from Johnny. Just uh, getting down out of shield, trying to run through the shield. Don't really like to see that. Okay, so he gets for reverse back into there. I think I got the wick yet, but he meant to get the strong hit. Johnny like crouching a couple times in the corner. I think just that's because like crouches animation looks like a jump squad at first. I think that's why people do it, or like a wave dash. That's why I do it anyway. I haven't ever talked to him about it though. He doesn't position right on the get attack. Also, you can actually still crouch at that percent. I think Falcon can crouch till 106, maybe 107. Uh, I think 106. Okay, then he just walked forward and Falcon kicks and that kills him. Let's see. <laughs> Pretty crazy uh, read on the spacing and then terrible DI from Rocky. I mean, Falcon kicks kind of out of nowhere. That's it. If Falcon's walking, a lot of times something's up. Narrow shield instead of like a shine dressing. Oh my god, that just worked. Okay, so right here, a lot of times high level players will full hop or short hop, most likely full hop, and then double jump again and back here because Falcon high up B is his uh, best recovery option as far as getting any mix ups. But then if you do that, sometimes a Falcon can get side, can side B under that. Rocky doesn't do that. Then he full out back here is right here. That doesn't, yeah, it seemed like a bad play to me, this back here. Uh, Johnny, just side views right there. Can't, can't you do a second falling back here? Is there a reason to do that? Is that not a thing? That, that's definitely a thing, right? Full out back here, falling back here. Uh, am I dumb? I don't know. Okay, anyway, he gets the laser grab. Off to ledge hog. Uh, I don't really like that ledge hog, but what, what would have been better than ledge hog? Like, I would have liked to see the wave dash, uh, fast all fast ledge double jump back here. We've seen Rocky go for that already. Johnny managed to get back towards center. Okay, that time he runs he runs through a little bit the shields to try to uh, be safe against the downer shield. Good ASCI down on that jab. Not to get launched. Oh, okay. Wow. Ooh, it doesn't go for a runoff knee right there. Oh, and that DI. My goodness. Okay, so a lot, lot to talk about right here. So, okay. Probably getting caught right there. Didn't get the DI he wants on the nair. Or I think he actually double jumped into it, so it's very unlikely that he'd be able to get out of that smash DI. No tech right there, so this will uh, put into another like really bad spot for Rocky. I'm surprised that Johnny was able to grab that, to be honest. Um, Rocky Shields looked like it's just one frame, so I think he had to do a frame perfect way up shine here. Yeah, I think a frame perfect way up shine would have worked. Johnny again, not covering the jump to the ledge, but does the ledge cancel? Uh, th that, that back here, like, we've seen how every time Johnny's done, which is like very often Rocky at the ledge, right? This time Rocky actually air dodged onto the stage. And then, so the ledge cancel lets Johnny put out another back air. I think runoff knee combos right there. Yeah, I feel like he can meet him right there. I feel like Scar gets that for sure. No shorten from Rocky. Shorten would have been good there. Rocky smartly DI's to the right so he can't get reverse knee to the left side of the stage. But then. Does not hit right here. Look at that. Look at this clouds. Look at these knockback clouds. How does he not hit the stage? Anyway, uh. Should just go for regular survival DI right there um, with some fasci, getting neat across the stage from over here. You you're at 88. You can definitely uh, you should have recovery mix-ups available. So yeah, poor defensive play from Rocky. This uh, set has been the the decisive factor. I'd say for sure. Not able to get the back air right there on Johnny's double jump up air. Um, definitely a situation where you'd like to see if you go back air. Okay, right there. Yeah, he should ledge hog. And that, uh, looks like he hasn't played against Alvin in a while. Right here, you just, you just do a backflip, um, short hop, pass all the ledge, get there way before Falcon. Easy, he can't hug you off that. Yeah, so Johnny living for way too long. And that's... Oh, okay, okay. 
just reverse backers him all the way across the stage. <laughs> Johnny gets this uh, kind of weird up air. Like, up airs against Rocky double jumps right there, huh? Johnny just up airs right there. Uh, doesn't try to combo off it into grab. Instead, reads the next option. He reads a roll. Rocky just uh, bot dodges behind him. So, Johnny's in the right uh, you know, mindset about what to read. That instant up air, th this is a bad sign for Falco. This one, if you whip right next to them, they're not even close to punish you with instant up air, right? That move is very fast, but its active frames in front of you are very limited. Get a double jumps out of it, comes down with another up air. I think that's a decent idea. Instant up air, double jump, uh, don't see it too much, but, you know, like I said, instant up air, it, it leaves you very vulnerable if you miss it. Yeah, we, we're seeing Johnny uh, double jumping a lot and very rarely eating any meaningful punishment for it, right? He, he, like he eats 24 right there, but then Rocky isn't able to get a combo start off it. So, and again, right there. Okay, that that's actually a good situation for Falcon. Okay, so he, Rocky does not roll in. Honestly, I think that might have been straight too close anyway. Uh, Gets a laser approach and then he down at him, but then Falcon's at a percent where he doesn't get put in the knockdown. So this is actually a pretty good position for Falcon. Uh, he could have dashed, jump gets grabbed, and punished the up tilt. Going for a rapid boost, which seemed like a pretty good idea to me, too. It's not coming. Rocky doesn't uh, drift on the back here correctly, or that down here correctly, or else it uh, could have hit. Okay, put him. That, oh, that was a drop zone. Alright, let, uh, let's rewind this again. So you can even you shine Saul into it a little bit, like. He's just like not in the right area at the right time right there. I think he was a little bit too early and he drifted a little bit too early as well. Not jumping too early. Okay, so, ooh, John tried to wait dash to the left pass. I wonder what he was thinking there. Would not have done that personally. Uh, but I guess he had the maps are playing. Uh, Rocky ends up getting center. And then uh, they both double jump. Rocky gets out of his, misses the tech. Yeah, that's a, that's a drop jump right there. Um, you can see where Rocky started to dump him. Yeah, that should have been a kill. Run off, I was say run off up there would have been good there. In my opinion, I thought it was obvious he would go down. Uh, obviously risky, but I thought it was obvious. Okay, yeah, it tries to shield grab after the second laser. That never works. Nice dash chance into that dash jack from Rocky. Oh, that's a kill. Okay, finally, a combo from Rocky. Jesus, I feel like he's been a combo in forever. Uh, still, Johnny actually could have shielded right there. You, you see he's actionable after this back air. See right there, or maybe the Falcons. Anyway, he should have been able to shield right there. Doesn't. So Rocky getting some mileage off these double lasers. We haven't seen any of them really punished outright. Like they've been, they've been working. So his lack of ledge dashes hasn't really gotten punished. I don't. Oh, yeah, Rocky's pressure is so weird. Uh, not a great neutral right there. I want that. Okay, so uh, yeah, he, he could have uh, shield and just grab, right? He doesn't there, backed off a little. Back here is in a spacing that I don't feel like was going to cover anything. Ends up getting hit by Johnny's there after he lands. Misses his tech. This could have been a strong knee. Instead, weakening up air. That'll kill Falco. Falco, uh, I think he can technically up, DI up in a way. And, um,. Actually, see, the thing is, with Falco, if you DI out of the weak knee up air and they go for weak knee up air, you actually will side B, uh, and then Falcon will have to hug you if he wants to recover. And if he doesn't, uh, you, you should still be able to get to ledge. And then uh, when he hugs you, you can um, tech it and then gimp him. So that said, Falcon can hit confirm weak knee up air. It doesn't have to be a DI read. He can hit confirm. But uh, yeah, Rocky just uh, getting weak up aired, not getting that one more layer of potential. Like I said, yeah, on, on the DI, I just said if uh, Falcon doesn't up air, he'll get to the ledge before Falco. Okay, okay, Johnny, I think a little bit too uh, ambitious. He gets it back here, so that's nice. Uh, smartly doesn't go too too hard with that nair. Holds, holds back and uh, doesn't challenge because it would have lost. So he gets his up air. I think it was pretty obvious that this back air wasn't going to hit personally. And then, uh, yeah, Rocky manages to counterattack him. It just ends the combo. I think that's good, honestly. 
set up a ledge guard situation, and then even if you don't get the ledge guard, you can combo Falcon across FD. I think that 4 smash is perfectly reasonable. This one, though, honestly, that's the third one. It's kind of stale now. Okay. So we've seen Rocky oh, doing like exclusively ledge guards that can be teched. Like, look at this. Gotta kill his ass, Rocky. Gotta kill his ass. Okay, so right here. Ideally, if you can do like a really fast pivot wave dash to the edge, that'd be good. I think though this one actually he might have had to do another techable option. Although he could uh, he could have done run uh, crouch jab. But I can see why you don't want to do that. Anyway, yeah, gives it for a forward smash. Right here, like. This is where like you really you really gotta grab the ledge here. You you have plenty of time to drop slow. Again, turn around and just jump and fast off the ledge. That'll kill him when he's dropping low like that. Oh god. Okay. Back here, nice from Johnny Living. So actually getting so much percent. Uh oh, uh oh, and that's a kill. He doesn't miss a Tommy that time yet. So really bad clutch from Rocky. There he finally tries to grab the ledge. And uh, intrusion like this, you end up just missing, or by missing, I mean Johnny gets there first. Air dodges on stage, gets on me. All right, honestly, uh, pretty fucking bad performance from Rocky right there. I'm sure he was thinking that he played like doo doo. So hopefully next time, uh, they play, we'll see Rocky bring out his A game, or at least his B game. I'd have to say that was about his D game. That said, you know, playing against Johnny is difficult, right? He puts you in situations that you're not comfortable. He's very fast. He's fantastic at the spacey matchups. All right, so tomorrow, like I said before, we'll do Etsu J versus Soon Say. Then we'll uh, delve into Galent Gaming Bots after that, which I have not watched, though I do know the winner. Uh, yeah, we'll have lots of bots to watch. You can follow me there on Twitter, and I stream every day on twitch.tv slash nickmwit, N-I-C-K-E-M-W-I-T, same as this YouTube channel. So subscribe if you have, and I uh, hope you learned something from this analysis.